Hi, so today's topic for presentation is types of CCTV cameras. My name is Irshad Kayam and welcome to our channel IPCS Global. So types of cameras. <clears throat> so first camera type is bullet. Okay. So, you know, there are different types of cameras based on technology. So, like I have already explained in the previous videos that there are cameras based on technology. That is analog technology is there, IP technology is this. Both in analog and IP technology, we have different types of cameras that are, uh, you know, categorized on the basis of their appearance or the physical appearance or, you know, the style of the camera. And of course, uh, each and every style got its unique uh, use also. So, in, in first uh, type of camera is bullet cameras, and bullet cameras are, you know, um, you know, the physical appearance is there like a bullet. Okay, like you know, uh, you know, they are something which are used for outdoor purpose. So, uh, these uh, bullet cameras are uh, some sort of cameras that do have a, an inbuilt housing within the top of the camera like in order to withstand the external environment and the you know the rain humid or even the dust and other uh, you know external uh, uh, problems we can easily use these bullet cameras and also we need to make sure that these bullet cameras do have this rating IP65 okay this is very important because you know we, we are actually placing a camera without any roof or anything so make sure that you you do have this particular property or ingress protection which have a minimum rating of ip65 or any above is also you can use that okay so that's all about the bullet cameras and the second category is dome cameras so dome cameras are uh, what we call uh, indoor cameras. Okay, so in the dome cameras, uh, in both the you know bullet and dome, they are uh, inside the bullet and dome. The everything, the working or the anatomy is same. But the problem is that uh, this dome uh, will not have that particular you know housing or something like that, which will not make them you know uh, to. Uh, survive the external uh, environmental conditions. So these are all, you know, are you know suits to only indoor purpose. So this dome itself have, you know, two uh, categories. I mean, uh, first one is a turret dome. Okay. So turret dome means the normal dome, like. You know the the name turret itself it engages that a mechanism within an another mechanism. So uh, you can uh, when you uh, unbox I mean when when you uh, uh, dismantle this particular dome cameras you can easily uh, you know note that this uh, dome camera is something uh, spherical in s structure, but these are you know sandwiched in between two plates, one base plate and one cut plate. So uh, that's called uh, the name turret. Okay, so that's one of the uh, category of dome camera. And second one is uh, vandal camera. I mean vandal dome. So what do you mean by vandal? Vandal means you know uh, it's a type of cameras. Uh, I mean dome camera itself, but it is having a particular uh, you know covering by using a uh, high IK rated uh, glass materials so that it will withstand the external uh, vandal risk. So when I say vandal, uh, these are uh, you know fixed in the locations where there is high risk of vandal or you know there are tendency or if the camera is being uh, fixed in l l small heights and all we can easily suggest this vandal cameras because this cannot be <coughs> you know uh, uh, it's changed its position once it's fixed unless we are uh, we use a align key it's not possible okay but the turret dome can be easily uh, changed without any uh, 
you know any external keys or any tools so th th that's the difference between vandal dom and turret doms okay hope you understood what i mean see in in both this dom and uh, bullet we have this uh, very focal cameras okay i have already mentioned in the previous video so i'm not explaining that it, it too much okay so vandal i mean uh, this uh, very focal cameras are those cameras that do have a range of focal length so that we can uh, have this uh, uh, different types of views field of views okay it's called field of view and the third and most important type of camera is ptc okay so ptz cameras are uh, the advanced cameras and these are the one of the costly i mean costly uh, cameras okay so the p stands for pan and t stands for tilt okay so pan tilt and zoom so that's the full form of ptz okay so pan means what, what do you mean by pan pan means horizontal moment okay so in horizontal moment it's it will cover most of the 360 degree so horizontal moment like you know uh, the moment in the left and right directions so tilt means uh, the upside and downside I mean the vertical direction so it's it will be total, uh, approximately 100 to 120 degree because we need not want any you know a sort of 360 degree upside because nobody will focus the sky and all okay so and then the zooming means zooming and zooming out so in zoom itself we have different types of zooming and I have already mentioned in my one of my pre previous videos that uh, there are two types of zoom and first type of zoom is uh, optical zoom okay it's called optical zoom and here it is optically zoomed so and the normal zooming is digital zoom so what makes the difference so you know optical zoom is uh, something like uh, taking a picture after zooming so which means the clarity or the sharpness or the resolution is not being uh, reduced but instead we will get once we are using 2mb camera after focusing also we will get the same sort of megapixel or the resolutions okay but and even after you know uh, uh, optically zoomed picture can be further digitally zoomed so that's a advantage okay so that's the uh, you know that's a, a physical nature of ptz also there are other advanced features and this is one of the costly camera that i mentioned all, all, already and also these PTCs are available in both IP and analog. Okay, both IP and analog, we have these PTC cameras. So make sure that uh, you know the installation of IP camera. I mean uh, PTC in IP format is quite simple because you know uh, uh, it's quite easy because it's just like the normal IP cameras. But in analog PTC cameras, we need to. Uh, we will have a particular port or a wire called RS485. Okay. So, if you are trying to plan an analog PTZ cameras, make sure that your DVR have this particular port called RS485. So, this will make uh, the compatibility of using uh, a PTZ in our dvr because there there are different types of dvr and there are even normal dvrs won't have this particular rs485 port okay so this will make uh, sure that we can and by using this ptc we can even you know control uh, the and their mo motion okay of that particular uh, camera and also we can preset the uh, motion so and it's called a tour so we can easily uh, you know preset the uh, the direction and the zooming and zooming out uh, in this ptz cameras okay so and also we can control it by means of a joystick also and also we can control it from our dvr and also from software also we can uh, change the direction and also and and um, just make sure that uh, you know by using a ptz camera it won't be uh, you know uh, enough to cover the entire area because once it's even though it's covered 360 degree but uh, make sure that once it will have a particular angle like you know most of the camera will have around 100 to 105 degree angle 
so it will cover that particular angle only and once it change the direction it won't you know record the previous one so uh, this can be uh, you know used in the location where we can we can you know uh, uh, monitor it remotely and you know we need uh, live monitoring and we can customize it depending upon our need so that's if if you are if there is a uh, camera operator you can easily suggest this ptz camera and if there is no uh, particular cct operators or any other guy or security guys who are you know into this monitor or uh, security uh, room then ptz is not a good decision because this is a costly camera and it will cover only a particular region at a particular moment and it won't be uh, enough uh, with you know uh, using uh, four or five normal cameras so that's all about the different types of uh, cameras and see uh, there are of course there are different other cameras types of cameras like NPR cameras are there like automatic number plate recognition or license plate uh, recognition cameras are also there and also box cameras are there and fisheye cameras are there and you know C mount cameras are the different sub varieties of cameras are there. So uh, these are all specialized cameras are then I am not explaining all the other things and one, one of the important things that is coming under this PTZ is uh, speed dome cameras okay so speed dome cameras are there so speed dome cameras are a sub variant of this PTZ cameras these are PTZ only but you know they are designed in uh, indoor purpose so the cost will be a bit lower but still uh, you know all the other functions are same so these are uh, PTZ cameras which are having the same sort of and the name is just changed but uh, the, uh, these are you know once we are using uh, an indie see the see one of the uh, advantage of using the speed dome is that th these are designed for interior purpose so the, there is a aesthetic beauty so see in ptz or in speed dome or even in normal dome also uh, there is a beauty you know all, all the dome cameras are uh, you know specialized to or they are recommended by interior designers you know why because uh, it, it is uh, you know uh, a small one a tiny one that is uh, with a aesthetic sense so uh, that's the uh, physical appearance and other stuff that i have explained and if you have any doubts regarding these types of cameras please do comment and uh, you know if you have any suggestions for my coming videos please do comment okay and that's all about my uh, topic and hats off bye Take care.